Hello there, this video will cover how to make the Linux desktop on a Chromebook bigger, where to adjust the fonts, and how to adjust the size of the desktop icons. If you are interested in Linux on a Chromebook, then you may be interested in my playlist that will cover how to install and set up a Linux desktop on a Chromebook without running. There will be commands, further explanations, and updates in the pinned comment for this video. To make the desktop bigger overall, we can lower the resolution. So before starting up the desktop, we can go to Chromebook settings, and in the device section, we can select displays. Here we can adjust the display size. When we are done adjusting the display size, we can then start up the desktop. When the desktop has started up, we can see that the size of everything in general has increased. Note that if you want to adjust the display size again, that will need to shut down the desktop and start it back up in order to see the new display size take effect. We can quickly restart the desktop from the terminal app by doing kill all space Zephyr starting with a capital X semicolon go L. This will shut down the desktop and start it back up. This gives us a quick way to see what a different display size looks like for the desktop. If you experience any issues with the desktop after adjusting the display size, then I recommend shutting down Linux. And then we can start Linux back up, and when the terminal is ready to go, we can then start up the desktop, and the desktop should start up like normal. Now we can adjust the fonts in general inside the desktop by going to the menu, and in the Preferences category, we can open up Customize Look and Feel. Here the fonts can generally be adjusted in the Widget tab and in the Window Border tab under the Title Bar and Miscellaneous sub-tabs. I recommend exploring Customize Look and Feel for additional adjustments, but again, those locations are generally where we can adjust the fonts. To adjust the fonts, we just simply click on the current font being used, and in the window that comes up, we can select the font and font size. When we are done adjusting the font, we can then click on the OK button. When we are done adjusting the fonts, we will then need to click on the Apply button to apply the changes to the desktop. After that, we can then click on the Close button to close out of Customize Look and Feel. Next, we can adjust the desktop font by right-clicking anywhere in the desktop background, select Desktop Preferences, and under the Appearance tab in the Text section, we can click on the Current Font where we can select the font and font size. When we are finished with that, we can then click on the OK button. Keep in mind that we can also change the font color and font shadow color. And to apply any changes to either color, we just click on the OK button. After we are finished adjusting the desktop font, we can then click on the Close button to close out of Desktop Preferences. We can also adjust the size of the icons in the desktop. We can do this by going to the Menu, and in the System Tools category, we can open up File Manager PC Man FM. From here, we can go to the View menu and select Zoom In. We can also do Control plus on our keyboard. This will increase the size of the desktop icons. To make the desktop icons smaller, we can go back to the View menu and select Zoom Out. We can also do Control dash on our keyboard instead. When we are satisfied with the size of the desktop icons, we can then close out of the file manager. Lastly, we can adjust the font on the taskbar by right-clicking on the bottom taskbar, Select Panel Settings, and under the Appearance tab in the Font section, we can check the box next to Size and then adjust the font size to our liking. We can also click on the current custom color to adjust the color of the font. When we are finished with adjusting the taskbar font, we can then click on the Close button to close out of Panel Preferences. If you enjoyed this video, then you may be interested in the companion book to this video, the Chromebook Guide to Google Linux. And other than that, see you soon!